make sure you get both handouts. Good morning. John is working on this question. Name and dates on paper, everybody. Okay, you're on. You're not even on the correct task. Can you flip it over? Flip it over. So you are working on the please do now. be annotating the the declaration there should be annotating the declaration Remember, if you're not sure what one of the words means, you can ask. Uh, I, can, I, I have a couple 
tissues in my desk drawer, but yeah, we are fresh out of boxes and tissues because apparently you guys are oh, yeah, I'll eating them. Do Dewan, focus on you. Dewan, focus on you. Thank you. All right, my dears, we're going to stop here because what I wanna do is I wanna go through the annotation process with you a little bit and be able to help out as we go. So, are we okay? I'm sorry that you don't feel good. Well, it kind of seems like you guys in general are not feeling awesome. I'm scared. Well, I'm sorry that you are scared, <laughs> but I can't fix that. So what we are going to do right now is we're going to look at the document itself and just do some quick annotations. In a second, we're going to look at some other documents and do a little more detailed annotations. But we've got Thomas Jefferson's Declaration of Independence, at least a portion of it. And he says, we hold these truths to be self-evident. And here's the thing that's always quoted, that all men are created equal and that they are endowed a key word. Head back. Get the two paper shoes in. You're not in trouble. I just don't want you to get settled and not have the papers. The word endowed means like gifted by God or given at birth by their creator with certain unalienable. Unalienable. This means it can't be taken away. Can't be taken away. Okay? So if something is unalienable, it means that it's it's so within you, 
someone can't take this away from you. Like, oh, you did a bad thing, gonna take it away. You're grounded, we're taking it away. No, it's a part of you. It's something that is a part of being a person. Okay? Certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now that last one is a little bit hippy dippy because it might make me very happy to go out and, and murder people. Oh, that's not cool. That's a problem. That like unhinges society. So maybe chill out, Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> your, your pursuit of happiness would cause other people problems. Okay? So, the pursuit of happiness is the one that is a little bit of a problem. It's also like, what does it mean, pursuit of happiness? Like, life, yeah, nobody, nobody wants their government to murder them. Liberty, we like the ability to move freely and not not be imprisoned or be told at, at certain times that we, we have to arrive at certain places and eat at certain times and pee at certain times. Like, we like the ability to move of our own free will, okay? So that we're cool with. But the pursuit of happiness, what does that mean? That to secure these rights, I lost my that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men. That this is something. Basically, that this is something that a government is made of people. Deriving their just powers. So they have to be fair. Uh, so just powers they have to be fair from the consent the other day we had the word consent remember that means permission permission okay we talked about that so a government has to have our permission to do their job okay so if the government is doing things that we don't like, we have the right to say, hey, you're doing something that we didn't give you permission to do. And what, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or Abolish it. What do you think it means to abolish something? Ban or de destroy? Yeah, to ban or destroy. Ban or destroy. So is this government that is hurting you or doing something that you didn't give them permission to do? So let's go with that quartering act that we talked about yesterday. They're knocking on your door and they're like, hey, you are a, a citizen of the British Empire. We want you to house a British soldier, feed them food and, you know, have them sl sleep in, in your house with your wife and your kids. Mm -hmm. um, you have no say in this. If you don't agree, we're going to put you in jail. They, stay in my house. <laughs> nope, they don't pay anything. You got, you just got to, and they're eating your food. I'm coming out like Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we talked about how this was wildly unfair, right? Yeah. People were mad. Well, we didn't give permission for this. 
according to Jefferson, we have the right to say, mm -mm, this is not cool. This is not fair. We very much want that government to step off. Okay. And to institute a new government, put something else in place, something that's better. Institute a new government laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its power in such a form as to then shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Basically, the idea here is we want something that's going to guarantee what gives that what what matches that promise okay so going back to that consent what we gave our permission for okay make sense yes the time is on the wall my love um it is 8 51. Oh, okay i don't know why you interrupted me to ask but okay honey <laughs> this needs to stop okay so let's go through the questions that you had because some of you had really good answers some of you had nothing so let's go through what is there for number one what was the purpose so this would be one of our analysis questions that we would do with the document. Delon, what do you have? What was his purpose? Oh, um, wait, we were supposed to write those down? No, no, no. I just have it here because these are the normal analysis terms that we use. So I'm just gonna just gonna use it for this moment. But you're we're answering number one. Okay. The purpose behind the Declaration of Independence was so that people could is that all people are equal, are created equal, and deserve freedom? Yeah. The, the, and I'm just going to abbreviate. Uh -huh. So the purpose for the Declaration of Independence was to state that There is natural, whoop, helps if I can spell, natural equality because he, he specifically states that we're, we're endowed with these natural equalities, right? Natural equality, freedom. And what should we all be able to have then? What, what's the second half of this whole argument here? We should be able to have what? Safety. Well, we should be able to have safety guaranteed by what? What's this whole section about? Oh, the government? Yeah, we should be able to have a safe government and safe government. Basically a government, uh, a government that we can trust. Okay. So I'm kind of paraphrasing here, shortening down his, his argument a bit, but you know, we have natural equality, We are born with this natural freedom and we have this inherent ability to have a safe government. Oh, sorry. So the idea behind this is we should be able to have a government system that matches what we are inherently supposed to have. 
Okay. Does that make sense? Does Jefferson feel like that's what we had from England? No. He, he's really feeling like we've been let down. And we'll see that with one of the, the later documents that, that you picked up today. Is that, like, it's a much angrier portion of, of this, this, uh, this document where he's basically like, oh, they're terrible, they're, they're messing things up. Okay? So, for number two, yes, dear. Let's look at number two and then, then I'll, I'll let you go. Um, so given the events that led up to 1776, so all of those things that we talked about yesterday with the video, um, all of those different laws that have been passed, all those different acts, do you think this, is a, this addresses the problem that colonists have been expressing about life under British rule? Now this, yes. No, I was going to ask. Oh, okay, go ahead. Um... I think uh, I think it's I think it's been uh, not good recently, like going towards the events, mm -hmm. even with the quarrying act and uh, the other act. I forgot what it's called, but it was like you know, people dressed up as Indians. Yep, the the the, the, the Boston Tea Party. Yeah. Okay. Boston tea Party, and no, it hasn't been good. Now, for number two, this one is more of an opinion statement. So you're, this one's going to be your opinion based off of what we, what we were doing for the past couple of days. So this one is much more based off of your opinion. So based off of this and what we've been doing for the past couple of days, do you think Jefferson was answering the problems that were going on that this idea of having a new style of government one that was based off of what the people were choosing do you think that this is a better answer than having a king okay so write that write your answer down and then what we're going to do is I want you to then flip your paper over to where it says too late to apologize. Okay. And now you make okay. Because what, what we're going to do is we're going to switch to our next activity. Our next activity is going to be a massive marker on the screen. Our next activity is going to be a short video clip that is going to feature the founding fathers, but the founding fathers in kind of a parody video. Does anybody know what parody means? Okay, what do you think parody means? Like. You got a lot of comedians in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we did. Okay. Parody <laughs> is, oh, bless you. Is when you take something, bless you. Bless you. Is when you take something that already exists in one form and you make a, a different version of it to hey Shani, just grab the assignments from the bins um and you make a different version of it and it usually has it's usually you, you need both of them you make a different version of it and it usually is for comedic purposes so this takes a popular song and it makes it for historic purposes so what we're going to be looking at is a song which you've probably heard before too late to apologize no it's it's okay if you've never heard it before okay i 
Well, I'm so glad that you've given me this fantastic piece of knowledge. Um, okay. Okay. I, I do love all of you. You are slowly driving me insane. I will help you. Most of the answers are going to appear on the screen as captions. However, the last two are going to be visual clues from the video that are not going to be in captions, but just things that you observe in the video itself. Okay. But again, I will help you. Uh, Josiah, honey, would you mind? Oh, okay. Thank you. It's the company that that makes these. <laughs> yeah, he's not supposed to be pretty. <laughs> Okay, so he lists a whole bunch of no's. I give you the first one with there are there are no fair trials. But what are the other no's? No, no trade and no liberties. No trade and no liberties. Yep. So fill in that there's no trade and no liberties. <laughs> no trade. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Thank no you, Demetrius. No oh. <laughs> That's the rock. Oh. Okay. And my apologies. It went. It went a little bit fast because apparently my mouse decided that it needed. Okay. <laughs> what won't they stand for? Uh, okay. The word is tyranny. 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 All right. Okay. I, I swear you are a mess today the word is tyranny material girl. okay i get it okay go on all right material girl <laughs> <laughs> you're you're really not helping things no, you're not helping. okay you're so tyranny <laughs> write it down all right so when we talk about tyranny a tier, a, a, the modified version of tyranny, a tyrant is a dictator, someone that is a ruler that doesn't allow anyone to do or say anything against them. So they're describing the king as being a, a complete tyrant. You know, it's only my way. No one can say anything against me. <laughs> it is an incredibly unfair existence. Oh, so that's supposed to be Jefferson. There's Franklin. Oh, 